This is a, I think it's a 2016 Xiaomi Mi scooter. But it's not just any, it's a beater scooter. And today, I'm going to review it. So this is a um, 2016 Show Me Mi scooter, I think. I think it's a 2016. But I'm going to go over um, the whole exterior and the quirks and features. So right here, we have the anti-lock brakes. Um, yes, Show Me Mi scooters do come with this feature, and I really like it. Um, these are hard rubber tires they do not pop and I recommend um, spending that extra $75 to get these tires because you won't have to worry about a flat tire it's the same tires here except right here this is the motor um, I don't know how many um, watts or power it is but it's a relatively um, powerful uh, motor and it's good and it does have a warning it says high power brushless motor um, yeah it gives you a warning so you know this is the motor well, let's talk about the center console here so before we actually get in, turn on like the scooter and everything um, you can add a bunch of different things here so this um, I uh, added these locks here and this and you can like even put like a air freshener thing that you put in your car for it just for like decoration and here um, I have my watch that I can um, turn on and everything uh, yeah you can add all of this here and it's I really I enjoy it it's great just a second. this bell yeah it's okay I mean it works well it, it's loud it will remind someone that you're coming and now let's turn on the scooter so right here you'll get these Four dots that's actually um, how much battery is in the scooter so this is a really helpful system here but you can also put this in eco mode to do that just double press and it goes into that green one it's a battery saving mode um, it's for long distances but I don't go long distances so it's not necessary for me and it goes like five miles per hour slower um, to turn on the lights just Press the power button once, and right here, you got the lights turned on. It's so cool. So, the first reason that you should buy a beater is because of the pricing. I got this one on Craigslist for $200, and that's really cheap for electric scooter. Um, however, sometimes you may not be as lucky with reliability when you're paying for a beater scooter. Just get a high-priced one, just like like a $200 one like this um make sure like check the tire pressure and everything like bring a tire pump and see the pressure of the tires on here um but yeah i'll recommend putting um sorry i'll recommend spending an extra like extra money on these hard rubber tires because they never pop it's fantastic but yeah that's why you should buy um All right, so I apologize because um, you cannot hear my voice at all on the scooter ride here. But yeah, this is a good scooter and you know, it drives really, really well. Um, so the only issue I had with like how it drove was the tires, like the hard rubber tires would, you know, on like the rough pavement would be really, really rough. And that's the big advantage with air tires, is that like it's much more smoother and everything with air tires. But um, when I got on the smooth pavement with the hard tires, um, it, it was smooth. It was, yeah, it, it worked, it was okay, it was practical, but yeah, you won't get that luxury feeling on 
air tires that you usually would on like normal tires on electric scooters and everything but yeah i mean it's doing well going up this um uphill slope and everything and it's really fun to ride and everything but um it's just like yeah about the tire thing and everything it's like oh my gosh it's kind of annoying and everything but um it does like it actually goes fast because it goes 15 miles per hour and okay oh yeah all right that sounds like a small number well it isn't for this scooter because it's light you'll feel the speed and it's a fun little jumpy thing and despite the video recording on this looking like it's going slow and everything um it isn't because if you're in real life it would feel much faster and everything but yeah when you're riding these things make sure to always always wear a helmet and everything because you don't want to crack your brains out when you're falling down at like 15 miles per hour and everything but yeah this thing also does really well going uphill um the first time i rode on this road with um the first recording of my gopro um it didn't actually record and i went this really steep hill and it it did a really really good job and that's show me quality that's great and yeah Thank you.